So they became married. So one more time, zakah is two types. There is zakah which is an obligation and there is zakah which is nafal, recommended and encouraged. And the zakah which is an obligation we mentioned, either it is a zakah upon the individual or it is a zakah due upon the wealth. And the, za- and the zakah which is due upon the wealth is due upon four types of wealth. To whom do we give zakah? Who do we give zakah to? So there are eight groups of people to whom zakah is given. Eight groups of people to whom zakah is given and nobody else besides them. Naam. So firstly the faqir. And who is the faqir? So the fuqara and the masakin. And what is the difference between the faqir and the miskin? And here in this ayah, there's a difference between the faqir and the miskin. The faqir is the one who is completely poor and possesses nothing. Or he possesses something, however it is below what suffices him. And this is what we have to explain. So now this brother who is poor and all of us are poor in front of Allah, we have to calculate how much does he require on an annual basis. Why? Because zakah is always given on an annual basis. So if we take a round figure and we say, that this person who lives here, he requires a thousand pounds a month to live. Therefore, on an annual basis, he requires 12,000 pounds just to live. This 12,000 pounds, this is the minim, minimum amount of wealth which he requires just to live. So it's not a luxury of buying Porsches or Mercedes, rather the minimum amount which he requires to live. When we're giving these examples, uh, we're not joking, but we're giving these examples and scenarios so we can understand and relate. So when Sheikh Ibrahim comes and he's a rich, wealthy businessman, and he says to this poor one, how much do you require to live throughout the year? So uh, Ibrahim says to the poor brother, how much money do you require on an annual basis just to live, just to suffice? And he mentions that I require 12,000 pounds sterling. And then he says to him, okay, how much do you actually own? And he replies that I don't possess anything. And then Ibrahim replies that you are poor. And if he replies that I have 5,000 pounds, he is still poor. Because 5,000 is less than even half of what he requires. If he said I have 7,000 pounds, then we say to him that you are a miskin and not a fuck. And if he said I possess 12,000 pounds, says that you are wealthy. So if the person possesses, the amount which suffices him on an annual basis, then he is, we consider him to be rich and wealthy. And if he has less than half of what he requires to suffice him, then he is considered to be faqir. And he, if he has more than a half, however beneath or less than that which he requires to live and suffices him to live, then we consider him to be miskeen. And Allah subhanahu wa said that verily the sadaqat, i.e. the zakah, it is lil fuqara wal masakin. It is for, meaning it is to be given to the poor and the masakin so they can possess it. Meaning, Sheikh Ibrahim, he gives to the poor person his zakah and he makes it his ownership and he possesses it for the whole year to feed him and his children. 